Hi, this is Keith Swenson, and I'll be giving you a little overview of a new feature available in Weaver. And this is for those situations when you want to hold a meeting and you haven't yet determined what the right time for the meeting is. You probably know the people that you want to meet with, but everybody's schedule is different. So sometimes you go through a process of trying to determine when to have the meeting. And so I'll also show you a nice capability to handle that. So here you have a, an example workspace and you know that you want to create a meeting. So you go to the meetings uh, just like normal and you go to create the meeting. First of all, let's give the meeting a title. Discuss local events or whatever your meeting is and you can give it a nice long description just like normal. Now in the time here, it's default to the time to something, but what you can do is you can press clear here and basically say the time of the meeting is going to be determined we're not quite sure what it's going to be. So you go ahead and, and click Create. Oh, it does require some sort of description, so that's probably a good idea in general. So then we then move into the meeting and discuss local events. And what we have here is it still says the scheduled time is to, to be determined, but we have down here proposed meeting times. So let's set up some times. Uh, well, we'll set up maybe uh, maybe Monday at noon. Uh, that could be a possible time, so we're not really sure, but I'll add that as a proposed time. Maybe the same day at 3 would be a good time. Uh, maybe, the, uh, maybe the next day uh, at 3 would be a proposed time. And so you go on. Let me add another one in here, and then let's go for 9 a.m., on the following day. So we've got four different uh, dates and times there. And these may be good times uh, for you to, to meet, um, or they may be, you know, very good times. And then what you do is you add other people uh, who you want to attend the meeting. So there's one person, and let's put uh, another one in there, and let's put in here Okay, and so each person is able to go and indicate if these are good times to meet or bad times. But you can easily see that this is going to allow you to gather this input from all of these different people. Now, I, I just filled them in for all the people, and the reason for that is that even though you've set up this nice system for managing a meeting, sometimes there are people that don't want to participate in. They don't want to go to the website or maybe they don't have a convenient way to do it or they, you know, they're just not phone literate and uh, they don't like going there. So that's fine. Sometimes they'll just respond. Sometimes they'll respond directly. I'm available every day except for Thursday. And so anybody can come in and fill in the times for anybody else. What you get is a sort of an overall picture of the time. Let's take a look at exactly what the, uh, the person will get if you send out an announcement. What I'll often do then is send an email you know about the meeting here and I, I'm just gonna send it to one person I would normally send it to to everybody of course but um, you know I'll send it to someone named Betty and basically say you know uh, let us know the best times and then let me just go ahead and se send that out so I'm going to log out so that you can see what this will look like when you're not logged in. Uh, the email is, is sent out to Betty and she'll see something like this. So if Betty clicks on now the Discuss Local Events, she's going to get this page. And what I'd like to stress here is that this page appears through the link on the email without Betty having to log in. So she can now sit here and set what the good times are to meet, um, you know, for her. It's very easy to send email to a bunch of people, collect this sort of feedback, they can see when everybody else is planning to come. Now at this level, uh, Betty is not able to add a, or propose times. To do that, she'd have to log in. Now if you log in, you're going to get the stand display like this, and this is where Basically, anybody can propose a time. So uh, I think this day at, uh, at noon is going to be the best time. So let's just go ahead and choose noon there on that day. And we can add another proposed time in there. And people can start 
putting in their values. When you get to the point where you have determined that there's one best time, right now it doesn't look like anything's best, although you, you have to make a choice, but maybe maybe you talk to this person and we get it turned around and we find, okay, there's a time, we all can meet on that time. You see it still says to be determined up here. I'm going to choose set the meeting to this time. And when I choose that, it sets the meeting and it closes this box. Now, you can always you can always open the box later and, and, and view it if you wish, but as long as this scheduled time if I click to determined here as long as that is is not set this will always be open but once you pick a time and say set the meeting to that time it closes it sets the meeting to that time and now you're ready to go so this is all part of what you would do to prepare for the meeting okay so I hope that gives you a powerful new way to bring people together and to come to agreement on what the best time for a meeting would be and then how to hopefully follow through and hold the meeting and have a great meeting.